Now when uh, Wikipedia started, it was an instant success and the software uh, whose, uh, whose development uh, was, uh, was the crux of the success of Wikipedia, that was then later on realized that we could use it for a lot of different projects as well. And we have a lot of other projects going on. Uh, for example, we have uh, Wikiquotes, Wikiversity, we have Wikibooks. Wikibooks is meant to develop textbooks that are free. Just like Wikipedia is meant to have an exhaustive encyclopedia to cover up all the essence of uh, the human knowledge. But then, I have to ask one question. How many textbooks that have been made from Wikibooks you have you come across? And even judging by the response or the questions asked by people around here uh, in the last one and a half days, how long have you been contributing to well, Wikipedia? I can judge, nobody has asked me a question. Are you a contributor to Wikipedia or Wikibooks? The questions have already always centered on, uh, on Wikipedia. And uh, we need to do something about it. Not, not that uh, Wikipedia has any issues. Wikipedia is an encyclopedia. We need to concentrate on development of Wikibooks. We need to accelerate it. And uh, I'll be covering the four tracks majorly. First track is prototype faster. See, all the information that we want for developing a textbook is already out there. It's been 10 years since Wikipedia started and almost all the elementary topics uh, that you think are of any importance are already out there and published on textbook level material on Wikipedia. And one good thing about, you know, one very central concept of making a textbook is that a textbook is not merely a collection of facts. It walks or guides a student through a learning process. But this statement itself implies that at certain levels, textbook is also a collection of facts. And why, why have all the textbooks that have started on Wikibooks not even reach that fact, uh, reach that phase where it has become a collection of all the uh, all the vital facts that it needs to be there. You know, all the textbooks that have been started on Wikibooks they do not have all the necessary facts. While all those facts have extensive articles on Wikipedia, we need to prototype faster. Apart from Wikipedia, there are also other sources. Uh, which are in the Creative Commons domain, I'll be talking about them. And uh, the important thing about them is, they, these sources are sources as reliable as the MIT or the Khan Academy, which have been very well received uh, over the last three or four years. Uh, the next three tracks uh, is, are, are something which, is, which people might not think of as, as, uh, as of anything important. Uh, but, but they define, you know, they make a difference. One is crowdsourcing. So, again, Wikipedia is all about crowdsourcing. There was a book about getting job done by crowdsourcing it to people. The name of the book was Wikinomics. Now, the irony that I'm trying to point out here is Wiki, the very word Wiki is associated with crowdsourcing. And Wikibooks turns out to be a platform where a single author goes on developing a book that he wants to write. That, that is the problem. Wikibooks is not a collaborative effort. Wikibooks is generally generally a single, a single person's effort. And, and that is wrong. We are, we are uh, you know, that is not wrong in a moral sense. That is wrong because we have much better ways to carry out the task. So that is, that is something I'll be talking about, crowdsourcing. And within crowdsourcing, I'll be talking about having layers, you know. Um, th there is a very popular saying that some very, very good things are, uh, are greater than the sum of their parts. And, uh, and, and crowdsourcing is about that. Crowdsourcing a textbook is a very difficult task because it has, the textbook has to have an integrity. But at the same time, the textbook needs to be, what I, as I said earlier, the textbook needs to have all the facts in place. And all, both the tasks do not require the same level of dedication or expertise. So that is why I'll be talking about dividing a book into layers. And uh, that is my crowdsourcing track. Outcome-based thinking. Well, uh, in the last two days, I have uh, found out one thing. 
everyone, everyone who is a regular contributor on Wikibooks, or not on Wikibooks but on Wikipedia or any other Wikipedia, is is uh, kind of averse towards discussing an issue on the top pages. I don't say that they don't go ahead and talk. The problem is that they go ahead and talk too much. It, the, those discussions are not productive. Nothing comes out of them. And uh, well, the discussions are intellectual. You have to give it to them. But then they don't solve any problems. And that doesn't take any project further. So I'll be talking about that last step. Last step is perhaps the most interesting one. Persuasive design. What do we learn uh, from, from Web 2.0? I was kind of apprehensive about talking about persuasive design because I was going to talk a lot about Facebook and a lot about uh, Orkut and I thought maybe maybe this won't be as well received. Maybe it is uh, maybe talking about these two institutions would be like uh, you know breaking a tradition or something because Wikibooks or, or the media of software has an outlook which is more simple, which is more elegant, and we don't want to clutter it up with, with technology that is meant for the masses. But then, uh, in the last uh, in the, in the talk given by Jimmy Wales yesterday, he said that we definitely need to learn a lot of things from Facebook because communication and uh, and how well information spreads across social networks. Facebook has really mastered that technology. It hasn't. It has mastered that technology, but what it has also done is figure out how people work, figure out what makes people click on things, and then. Make them, make them involved in the process. Now, we have to know that too. So, with this, uh, having given you the complete idea of what I want to talk about, I will let you through the, all the phases. So, we'll be talking about prototyping faster, existing knowledge. Existing knowledge is, well, uh, we have three broad categories. First is Wikipedia. When you want to design a book, when you want to write a book, first know what you want to write about. What exactly do you need? And then start by copying the text, text from Wikipedia. Now this sounds, uh, this sounds a little ridiculous. The first objection would be that you are not doing any intellectual work, you are copying. But uh, well, this is what we call prototyping faster or failing faster. The idea of making a prototype is not, uh, is not to make it immediately useful, it is to test it. You, know, you want to get to know things better. And you want to have everything that you have in your brain out there so that it can be processed better. Right? If, if I have certain opinions, or if I have certain insights into a topic, and uh, I'm just waiting for the right moment uh, to, to get it out of my head, I don't have any advantage. But when I put it out on Wikibooks, or when I put it out even in a very trivial manner, it is out there for thousand other contributors to take it in and process it. So existing knowledge first copy from Wikipedia. I'll be talking about an interface that can make it easier. Second is uh, uh, second is making good use of open courseware by MIT the podcasts uh, that are amply found on iTunes and uh, and and uh, YouTube. Uh, some some very prominent podcasters are uh, Patrick GMP, Patrick Just Matt Sutri. All of these are uh, Creative Commons sources. Khan Academy, perhaps uh, the best best known uh, podcaster. And then we have freelance teach. All of these podcasts are available uh, for free. They are available under the Creative Commons license. And, and this is very funny. I mean, you really... And the worst part is that you need someone to explain what is funny here. You know, all of these courses are available in Creative Commons. All of these courses are available in Creative Commons. And uh, the very aspect of Creative Commons is that people have to take it further. We are not taking any of these courses further. So, define what you want to write. I'll be talking about this later. Uh, define what you want to write about and then use existing knowledge to make a prototype. It doesn't have to be immediately useful. The only reason why you want that, uh, uh, you want a copy of it, however shabby, is that you can not create something perfect right, uh, you know, within five minutes. It is much more easier to first create a systematic chaos and then arrange things. Okay, so what, what do you do after you have uh, everything out there? What, what do you do after you have made a very rough copy? So, well, you need to uh, discuss around. Now, the immediate uh, uh, reply uh, to me saying that, uh, well, you need to discuss the material is that we already have a talk page. Well, the thing is, this falls into purview, 
a concept of the purview of consumerism design. We really have, don't have an interface that makes everything easier. Well, somebody goes to the top page, posts a comment, but doesn't receive any comment further because top pages are useful when everybody is using them. But then that was a network effect. You know, if if I if the telephone was invented in 1870s or 1880s, somewhere in the US, me buying a telephone here in India is no of no use to me. The network effect isn't taking place. Network effect is if if I buy a service, if I use a service, it will be of more use to me if other people are using it too. And uh, for that to take place, first of all, it needs to provide an intrinsic value. So there are two two layers to this. So the problem with top pages is that they do not provide an intrinsic value. They will document your thoughts, they will document your opinions, but those thoughts and opinions won't be processed. Nothing will happen after that. So uh, what I am suggesting here is use wiki's cross-posting abilities. You can cross this, uh, post the same content across two different pages. Use that to develop annotations. And uh, uh, whatever section you have, have a shout box or have uh, an annotation box on the right side. Have some targeted questions over there. Customized questionnaires would be, again, they will work on the same concept as annotations, but you need customized questionnaires for 